Hi there. Today from the workshop, I'm going to show you how to fold down your unit so you can store it up on the wall, or if you want to stick it in a car, or up on a roof rack. Okay, you'll need a few things. Three wrenches, an 8 millimeter, a 6, and a 5 millimeter hex wrench, and your piece of packing foam that came off the mainframe tube when you bought your street stripper. We're going to insert that right back there again to protect this as it folds down. And the first thing I'm going to use is the 8 millimeter hex wrench. And I'm going to come on this side and I'm going to actually unscrew this crank. Okay, on the left side here, this screw, which is called a crank screw or a crank bolt that holds the crank arm onto the bottom bracket spindle. There's the bottom bracket. There's the... <laughs> there's the... Um, serial number if you need to know that. Um, I'm going to take this 8 millimeter hex wrench and I'm going to unscrew this screw and it will get a little tight. But what this does, it's called a one key release and it will actually extract the crank off of that bottom bracket spindle. And as I unscrew this, you can see it coming off the spindle. It comes off until you hear a click. Right there, it's reached the end of its ex extension. I'm going to pull that crank arm off. I'm going to rotate this one around. Now we're going to put it back on again. So they're now in the same direction. And we're going to screw this back on just a little bit. And always when you're doing this, make sure there's a little bit of lubrication, a little bit of grease on that spindle. That'll slide your crank on and off very easily. Okay, so now that's on, not very tight. Now what I'm going to do is take a screw out of the joint up front and that will allow this to fold down. So up front here, we have a fold joint. We have three screws in this fold joint. Three black cap screws here and there are barrel nuts on this side. All right. The cap screws on this side take a five millimeter, I'm sorry, the cap screws on this side take a six millimeter wrench and we can loosen them. Right? And on the other side, here is a 5 millimeter. Now sometimes you have to hold this, but in this instance it looks like they come off okay. Alright, all three cap screws are loose. This lower one we're going to leave in. We're going to, we're going to make it one turn loose, like that, but we're going to leave that one in. We're going to take these two out here, the middle one and the top one. This will be the pivot point. Okay, so I'm going to hold the joint this way. I'm going to put in my 6 millimeter wrench and I'm going to unscrew that screw from the middle point and it comes right out. You have a little washer on there. Set that down. Same thing with the upper screw. And that's going to come right out with a little washer on that. And that's a longer one. And now this joint will fold down like that. Now what I recommend when you're folding this is to run a strap around here underneath this between the two parts and tighten it up here and that will stabilize this so you can move it around. All right? Now let's do this in reverse. Once it's folded down you can transport it, you can move it around, you can hang it on the wall like we have here in the showroom and when you want to unfold it you'll take off your strap Grab a hold of the head tube, lift that up, take your long screw first and put that in the back, get it started. All right. Take your shorter one, put this in the front here in the middle slot, start it. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate my cranks backward so I have a little room to work up here. And now I'm going to take my 6 millimeter hex wrench and I'm going to tighten up these screws. And when I tighten up this joint, I'm going to make sure that the two edges of the joint fit very smoothly up here in the front. Make sure your joint is nice and symmetrical. Screw in the middle cap screw. Alright, screw in this one. Okay, and now I'm going to use my 5 millimeter here and then I'm going to tighten these. 
I'm going to put the 5 on the right side, 6 on the cap screw side, and I'm going to tighten each one of them to make sure that they are nice and snug. cap screws are tight, barrel nuts are tight, joint is secure. Now we're going to go back here with our 8 millimeter wrench. Rotate this down. I'm going to now unscrew that crank bolt with its one key release so it again extracts the crank off of the spindle. Okay, it's loose. I now have to move this crank on that side upwards, keeping this one down. That puts them now 180 degrees apart, so you can stride. And now I'm going to screw this back in. Get it tight that way, and then secure it this way. Piece of foam off. Your street strider is now unfolded, ready to ride.